uh, the United States of uh, perpetually scared people has moved to withdraw its uh, non-emergency personnel from their presumably fortified offices. This Ridley O is sponsored by Freekeen.com. To paraphrase Hillsdale College's Larry Arn, a politicians write books which they do not write uh, to be read uh, by people who do not read them. The quality is lamentable and the payment for the writing uh, not done is not small. Alas, on the rare occasions where a statesman appears upon the scene uh, with an impressive uh, command of his language, it is not inappropriate to take notice and hear him out on all relevant points. It is asked, and well should be asked, uh, why have you, uh, Winston Ridley, of New Hampshire, uh, a foe of monopoly governance and of empire, adopted uh, the comportment of a ruthless minister who served a representative monopoly and gloried in a monarchy's a dominion. It has been said, America needed a foe of her aggressive war, but the man to do it was not Michael Moore. You may rest in confidence that both I and the old lion whose accoutrements I mimic uh, have achieved uh, this condition. There are those of us who look upon Mr. Churchill's deadly yet luminous career and perceive the many lamentable acts of aggression, but also the brilliant defenses against it. The eagerness to bring wars to the quickest practical end at the smallest practical loss and a largely honorable treatment of vanquished foes. The failings and brutalities are scheduled to be dealt with on this channel uh, and within the bounds of practicality uh, dealt with harshly. As Mr. Orwell once put it, uh, though writing about someone else, quote, one ought to be able to hold in one's head simultaneously the two facts, unquote. The old lion was both and neither hero and villain. It is conventional for men to imagine, uh, what might I do uh, with great powers such as I will never have? Uh, the better question is, uh, what might I do with little power uh, such as I already have? There was a period of a decade or so uh, where it seemed Mr. Churchill could uh, uh, civically do little more than perform speeches and, and write. Uh, this he spent invoking against tariffs, uh, the growing Nazi menace, and, uh, lamentably, the necessary prospect of Indian self-rule. Uh, but uh, the further he got from being the government, uh, the further he got from being uh, the guilty. Now, right this is in more ways than you may yet realize. Thus, uh, the question uh, further evolves. Uh, what can be done with an ability to commandeer, if not channel, uh, to project, if not duplicate, perhaps a third of the virtues which delineated this office holder? And, we may hope, less than a third of the vices. The answer is surely more than nothing. Uh, how would it play if a strange light were to affix itself to the map of New England and begin growing in luminosity? A rebirth, uh, if not of a great historical figure, uh, then at least of a great historical craft. One moment, one moment, uh, do not wriggle. Uh, very well, oh yes, all functional, very continual, not malfunctioning. Um... Yes, historical craft. Uh, yes, um, uh, uh, yeah, the Churchillian techniques or concepts turned quasi-Churchillian. What might a practitioner of them be able or unable to achieve? 
uh, proven philosophies of contest, methods of phrase, or conventions of dress, what might be their limitations when raised uh, not by a nation, but by a flawed voice, uh, far more minoritized uh, than the one he imitates. Mm. Uh, stripped of their ministerial portfolios and leadership acumen, but braced by the simple brilliance of the zero aggression principle. How deeply or cautiously or should we place hopes in them? Perhaps we will be privileged to learn this in the years to follow. It is said, and said well, one should not prophesy one's own, uh, one's own actions. Uh, the going uh, thither and the coming hither uh, may be interrupted at any moment uh, by the hand of the elements of human intervention. Maybe out. KBO. <clears throat> KBO means uh, keep buggering on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that there, but there are um, there are tentative schemes for this uh, this thinking person's costume. It, it may appear <clears throat> this costume, which may not be in perfect order at the moment. <laughs> um, um, uh, may not be in perfect order, but it is being worn. Um, they're going here, they're coming in intervention. Uh, but there are there are tentative schemes for this thinking person's costume. Uh, it may appear outside government offices and deliver, or at least uh, contain the deliverer of um, oppositional speeches. It may uh, more rarely, but more effectively, find its way uh, to deliver testimony at their meetings. It may be able, uh, from wherever it may be, uh, to invoke against uh, the many authoritarian excesses which have driven so many of us uh, to the live free or die state. It may oppose those which persist, even here. It may uh, lapse into quiescence if insufficiently observed. Uh, there is lastly the possibility uh, that it may be compelled at any point uh, to carry on its mission from the shadows of confinement. For this empire does not lament the seizure of its critics, coveting more than any other uh, conventions of imprisonment. One almost uh, cannot rise uh, from studies of the old lion without carrying around them uh, the aura of contradiction, the turbulence of dichotomy. Perhaps it is necessary for us to view Mr. Churchill as a brilliance whose theories should be considered in our own struggle. Some cast aside with revulsion, and others embraced with vigor. Perhaps it is possible for me only to view him as a grandfather never known yet terribly understood, worthy of the most stubborn defense and fanatical opposition. Uh, words, as the vendetta figure well put it, will always retain their power, and sometimes a good performance has unexpected inspirations upon humanity. Cherished allies, for you are cherished, I speak to you from New Hampshire, a most unpeopled outpost of the Empire, this Christmas, in the year of our Lord, 2018, the words peace and liberty often do seem to be little more than that pronouncements, slogans, and yet we stand at a moment of both great hope and great peril, not merely the latter. Across the wavering conglomerate of mid-sized states ruled from the District of Columbia, a violent, even physical, 
division has occurred, perhaps driven deeper than any since the great conflict ascended north from south. This breach, this trench, fueled by the most odious pronouncements by a most tyrannical executive, set forth the potential for conflict of a most odious kind, awaiting perhaps only the spark of an economic debacle of a type well known in Keynesian commercial circles, or the cruel machinations of an intelligence apparatus whose peeping tomery wrinkles unsurpassed in the long, lamentable catalogue of human crime. These perils stand against a backdrop of positive change, remarka remarkably brought forth by the very unflattering personality of the Empire's authoritarian executive. This president, eclipsing all who had come before in manic depravity, nevertheless has sprung forth a disruption of great potential benefit, that of sudden peace, returning or endeavoring to return American centurions from their cruelly misapplied disbursements. In doing so, this unsavory head of state undertakes the most unpardonable breach in the minds of the security bureaucracies that envision themselves the true rulers of America. For it is intelligence and security communities which remain ensconced in power in nations from generation to generation and form of government to form of government, fitted and succored by the comparable, comparably immovable cartel of military industry. Will these institutions of perpetual slaughter and their intelligence community allies remain quiescent in this most, or in the face of this most, unacceptable eventuality that of peace? What horrors, what tragedies would they be willing to inflict upon an innocent humanity to prevent it? Or what might they be willing to unleash upon the much less innocent president with the orange hair? We may never know the precise schemings of these shadow potentates only that they occur and are occurring. It is incumbent upon us as people, as the people, not to allow ourselves to become manipulated into conflict with one another. Objects under the control, knowing or otherwise, of hidden puppeteers. It is incumbent upon us upon us to support our neighbors, regardless of their beliefs or ours, and to be provisioned with many uh, kilograms of sustenance, should the direst machinations of our unseen overlords be brought in their desperation to fruition. For my part, I can also recommend and welcome you to a relatively safe nation-state as yet unborn in its full form, that of the modest but prosperous region of New Hampshire. Here those of you who adhere not to the bloviating 
present White House, nor the randomly vandalistic shock troops of the left wing. Here in New Hampshire you may find the very third path the late Dr. Krauthammer espoused before his death, the one of tolerance and fiscal restraint personified in its purest form by the five thousand ardent migrants of the Free State Project. This endeavor, articulated at freestateproject.org, offers an imperfect but functional alternative to the twin dead-end streets of right and left, of party somewhat and party somewhat less sometimes, a third side of the coin facing in an entirely new direction, that of liberty. In these potentially hazardous moments, and perhaps years, be a friend of your enemy. Be prepared to succor your neighbors, and be here in the free state. Winchester, New Hampshire, uh, May, uh, May 9th, 2019. Mm. Some observations regarding the advent of a crypto asset with only one alleged primary purpose. Appreciation in value. Sarcastical to the point of hostility, dismissive to the point of dogmatism, the skeptical and contemptuous, contemptuous voice of Bitcoin commentator Richard Schuler, better known as Richard Hart, has nevertheless been a most welcome source of thought provocation and insight when contemplating the triumphs and misfortunes of that digital endeavor are commonly known as the crypto space. Abounding in pith, brilliant in counterintuitive oratory, accoutremented with a, a gangsterly, um, <laughs> I've left you hanging, uh, a gangsterly, um, uh, a trendiciousness, uh, he, which, uh, which he and all are, are likely to lament when we look back from a score of years forward. Perhaps it was uh, inescapable that a notable, a notable, um, so mesmerized by the train wreckages which accompany and unsuccessfully mimic the coin of bits, would ultimately succumb to the temptation of endeavoring one of his own. And doing them one, or perhaps billions, better. In this I, I imply better in the good sense. But it is beyond my power or licensing to offer monetary advisings, as if anyone outside a madhouse would take such suggestions uh, from a personage so profoundly uh, unwealthy as myself. <clears throat> but, as the, uh, the evangelists of cryptographic asset are wont to say, this is an element in which the humblest may play. There is uh, arguably a place in the space for some reflection upon the methodology he has adopted for his new cryptographic asset, HEX. H-E-X. HEX. Mm. Yeah. Prepared with, uh, with complex explanations, dogged by a presence, although not a dominance, of red flaggage, 
the project nevertheless begins to show its simpler and intriguing characteristics as the longer it is observed. Uh, in layman's terms, as uh, best I can equate them, this is what Hart is claiming he will produce. Reduced to its rudiments, it is an attempt at the creation of a cryptographic high interest certificate of deposit, which has as its further and not inconsiderable goal, the replacement of gold itself as a store of value. Hex claims to avoid the various regulatory pitfalls by not offering itself for sale. Rather, the hexes are given away, or they are to be given away, for free, supposedly, based on how many Bitcoin you hold at the time of the new asset's so-called snapshot. Uh, but you must claim them actively. Uh, the hexes of those who did not claim gradually feed themselves into the accounts of those who did until uh, roughly uh, 50 weeks after launch, after the date of launch, these, uh, those non-claimers have no claimable hex uh, at that point. <clears throat> this is presumably the source of the interest. Massive holders of Bitcoin, known as whales, uh, suffer a massive penalty when they claim, unless uh, they hide the size of their holdings uh, by splitting up the claims. And for them, it may be even more complicated than that. The chatty quasi-socialist creator uh, calls it the, uh, uh, the silly whale uh, penalty and treats it as his, uh, his attempt at re as his attempt at re-decentralization of crypto wealth from them, uh, from them, from the, from the, uh, from the whales uh, back to the masses. Hmm. Ah, there's very, there are other options and deeper levels of game theorization designed to suck users into an enjoyable and strategizing regimen of their own without requiring uh, without requiring uh, frequent transactions and without, it is claimed, great energy and efficiency. Mm, how much do I take? For how long? Mm, do I look for referrals? Or should I claim on the first day? And collect a bonus? Is it worth the extra trouble? Um, mm. Uh, there, is a, there is a conscious effort uh, to make uh, the coin reach out and engage the owner's love of strategy, if any. Now, uh, for the red flaggage. Hart, uh, the creator, has admitted he makes claims in conversation of being a billionaire while failing to inform uh, the listener Presumably uh, uh, a series of comely uh, interactorettes in expensive liquor bars uh, that, uh, that it is not U.S. dollars which he possesses billions of. Uh, something more like prime coin, I gather. He has criticized the use of the word Bitcoin in other altcoins and uh, began to do something similar with Hex, which was to be referred to as, uh, as Bitcoin Hex. And now he has removed the name again. Mm, um, uh, Mr. Hart has changed his tunage, not just uh, from being a harsh critic of, of Ethereum, to now, uh, now launching his project uh, on the Ethereum platform. He explains that it is now more immutable than it was. Crypto commentator Jonathan Sterling, or someone claiming to be him on the internet, has uh, accused Mr. Hart of threatening to have uh, gangsters uh, rub him out. 
and took the matter seriously enough to create a website aptly named oh, I'm Not Dead <laughs> dot, dot, dot co dot uk as the website was last updated in April of 2017 we may assume it is probable of that if uh, if gangsters have in fact exterminated Mr. Sterling uh, then the the dirt nap uh, did not begin previous to that date um, uh, certainly there is a, a somewhat uh, a sleazerous and uh, gangsterly vibe uh, tone of, uh, to, to Mr. Hart's presentations. You'll have to see and judge them for yourself. Uh, you will not fail to be entertained, but may fail to be inspired uh, toward investment. Fortunately, uh, that is not uh, what is being requested of you. Only the claiming of your coins. And, uh, in fact, that is not being requested either. A trustless interest, he says, is an amazing innovation. If you don't support it, fuck you. <laughs> Unquote. <laughs> the, uh, the only, only trust that appears to be required, or, or lamented by those now scrutinizing the allegedly impending project, uh, comes in the form of a, of a need to provide information, although apparently not very much, when claiming your hexes. The only, only trust that appears to be required uh, comes in the form of a, of a need to provide information, although apparently not very much, when claiming your hexes. But even this act is a source of trepidation among some. As Vlad uh, Costia, possible mispronunciation forgiveness requested from Crypto Insider puts it, quote, Bitcoin X is technically worse for any other project. Oh, well, there's no reason you can't look over my shoulder at the script. Uh, Bitcoin X is technically worse than any other project bearing the Bitcoin name if even Bitcoin uh, itself is criticized, I'm sorry, if even BTC is criticized for not having intrinsic value, uh, then Richard Hart's uh, project is nothing but fool's gold, uh, which emerges out of thin air and promises to make everybody richer at the expense of a simple sign-up process. People watching the weekly interview interviews and understanding the process will probably think they have nothing to lose. But the price to pay is privacy itself, as participants to the HEX scheme willingly reveal to the public how many bitcoins they own. Unquote. Costia goes on to question the credentials and size of Mr. Hart's small team, which... Uh, it does look like a grouping of, uh, of Anglo rappers, <laughs> uh, rather than uh, more, the, more so than, um, than an entrepreneurial endeavor. Uh, speaking of endeavors, a crypto insider itself is one for which uh, I have written. Schuler Hart has implied laying out projected launch dates for the asset which he did not really expect his team to achieve. This, he says, is his method of, uh, of creating a constructive environment of pressure, inspiring more rapid labor. In all endeavors, other than perhaps conflict with enemies, to be deceived, uh, it is important to, if at all practical, uh, uh, do what you say you will do, and uh, not say uh, uh, you will uh, you will do what you want, but there is often in Mr. Hart a sense of spontaneous genuineness, which becomes paradoxically most obvious in the discussion of his truth stretching, <laughs> and uh, and in his many many hours of live discourse, is still freely available on YouTube. I have not seen him flee the scene, uh, refuse to address a question, 
or cost demands upon an interviewer. Other factoids for the not entirely initiated. Schuler slash Hart accurately called the $20,000 Christmas of 2017. Failed to perceive the onset of the bear market initially, but nevertheless uh, called it within months, perhaps even weeks, of its, uh, of its beginning in uh, 2018. At, uh, at roughly the, the $8,000 price point. He is often contemptuous of Rothbardists and other libertarian apologists, uh, much as he is contemptuous of uh, um, 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 nearly everything. <laughs> but uh, uh, but between, uh, between mid-2017 and early 2019, at least, the numbers have borne him out, well, not us. A foe of Bitcoin Cash from earliest instance, and of uh, nearly all altcoins, his political philosophy is Scandinavianistic in tenor. Capitalism for wants, socialism for needs. Ethically hazardous, he can nevertheless uh, back this position uh, by asking, as, as may well be asked, uh, which, which region of the world has ever been so untroubled and untroublesome. Uh, some proclaim that, that his plan is without novelty in the crypto sphere, but I have, uh, I have not seen its like, or even its like proposed. Uh, and I am not entirely in ignorance on these questions. The very scheme uh, seems to be uh, pressing in an entirely, uh, um, uh, in a direction entirely disparate from every other in this sphere. Newborn yet elderly, untried yet established, the potential promise of a cryptographic certificate of deposit is so obvious and intriguing as to inspire a, a wonder that it was not already done. And I hope that if it is done badly in this instant, another will uh, another will turn the page. Another will try to turn the page with gloves on and realize that he has already used up all the pages. One moment. Oh, fantastical. Fantastical. The return has been effected. Ah, uh, in hopes that uh, someone may come along um, to do it better. <clears throat> Art points out that the value of all certificates of deposit is uh, uh, many times greater uh, than that of uh, 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 all cryptocurrencies combined, and that the store of value proposition is more li lucrative uh, than that of currency. Gold, as he puts it, is 10x more valuable than Visa, uh, MasterCard, and PayPal combined. And no one uses it to pay for their coffee. If even, uh, uh, even if the project has uh, many failings, it appears dramatically and obviously different from the others, thus uh, seeming to entail, almost by definition, a character of diversity uh, uh, generally lacking in our sphere. Excuse, please excuse. Um, while others have aimed for massive transaction capacities or speeds, neither of which uh, are of much importance if no one uses them, as currently almost no one does, mm. uh, the Hexa has claimed to, to be uh, a rarely traded uh, a rarely, uh, rarely traded uh, uh, store of value. Uh, that is what uh, Bitcoin has been, though not the purpose for which it was crafted. What will happen to an asset uh, designed for that from the beginning? 
We have been told that we are supposed to do something with this technology, and so few seem to have done enough to differentiate. For most of the few, and there are very few, who hold more than $100 worth in Bitcoin, it evaporates down to this question. Will we claim those coins which are to be granted to us by his protocol? For all who access Bitcoin and claim are promised a proportionate number of the new asset. For me, the answer is yes. I expect I will at least try when the project is eventually released uh, four weeks from now um, which I believe was also four weeks from the uh, the February most recent <laughs> and it is now May but um, <clears throat> Uh, that is what they were claiming be uh, four weeks from now uh, but they did um, they did make uh, the effort to indicate that the project uh, the projection was uh, optimistic uh, very optimistic they called it so it was not um, we cannot say that it was an outright lie <clears throat> now um, mm, it is now may but, uh, but yes yeah, so what uh, yeah uh, well, as I say, well, what have I to lose? <laughs> and in my case, I believe it would be an advantage for any any hacker or a government operative to discover just how few uh, Bitcoin fractions I possess. That um, <clears throat> uh, I should um, I should shortly thereafter be ejected right off any lists of lucrative targets. Meanwhile, I will endeavour to continue my enjoyment of the Hexist's sleazical yet witty presentations, provided he does not dispatch any mobsters to trouble me in my slumber for my partial, if mixed, examination of his credibility. From my Bitcoin brother, whether he is questionable or prophetic, I uh, expect and fear no such interruptions and perhaps uh, something extraordinary. When does the legitimate self-defensive discorporate into warfare of conquest? At what point it is defiance against wickedness become uh, that very thing? For the Federalists who rule America with not much federalism, that Rubicon was crossed 16 years ago. If one is being charitable toward the seat at Washington and the place where it was forded, then it is uh, perhaps being forded again oh, on the mass of a sweltering sand allegedly controlled by the Republic of Iraq. The United States of perpetually scared people has moved to withdraw its non-emergency personnel from their presumably fortified offices when located in the Kurdish regions so restrained and moderate for their neighborhood so hopeful of their independence and so recently betrayed by the rulers at Baghdad and their their, uh, their minders in the district of casualties, the Montenegrin Nazi fighter turned uh, dissident may have uh, thought it best when he 
uh, when he claimed it, at least uh, through his actions and predictions. Don't trust headlines. Trust history. The terrified Americans have pointed to uh, what they perceive as their ancient enemy, Iran, exclaiming that the Islamic Republic, so-called, is up to something. While we are upon uh, the subject of history, let us uh, ask ourselves what, uh, what might they be up to? If the pages of the past are any source of legitimate guidance, uh, then we should ask, are they, uh, are they planning a coup? Uh, as the Americans uh, perpetrated upon them uh, in the 1950s, when they installed the murderous Shah. Are they, uh, are they aiming to gun down an airliner as the Americans did to them, uh, full of passengers uh, in the 1980s? Are they uh, planning to invade a neighboring region with their armies as America's uh, co-belligerent Iraq once did to them? But is a uh, what does the Iranians have done to no one in hundreds of years? Uh, but we may, we may be certain that they have still got a shank up their sleeves. Oh, for look how closely they place their country to our military bases. Cruel on large scales to their own, as all governments are. <laughs> or have been thus far embedded in the ancient statecraft of coercion. Alleged terrorism, perhaps, are not always just alleged. And deniability. The center at Tehran is not to be idolized. The claims of deadly intrigue by Federalist liars is not always a lie. But oh, how feeble has become the cry of the Bolton who called Wolf in its veracity over the course of this 16-year a marrow jihad and yet, uh, uh, during it, how many nations have been struck down by his kind and this empire, a little more warning, his kind, which is not our kind, are the bringers of the medievalist torture chambers, uh, the finger collections, uh, the renewed uh, slave trade at Libya, and uh, the violations of children uh, followed, as in the case of Abir Hamza, uh, by the assassinations of her family, uh, to cover it up. It is rarely those with the most guilt who suffer the most grief. It is not for us, uh, the small people, to know what is really happening. We may not know for decades, or perhaps ever, uh, but we do know this. Read my lips, no new taxes. I did not have sex with that woman, Ms. Lewinsky. And Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. If you are so unwise as to comport with a, uh, an unquestioning demeanor toward these representations, then willingly join with them 
and their imperial works of unending expansion and cruelty of conflict which violates Sun Tzu's every admonition that you are beyond help and perhaps undeserving of it. Egypt people is very nice and if the Egypt people take my advice they will strike down the one party state they fear but that had better not happen here because we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending because government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers freaking.com